Hey art friends, today we're going to be drawing the elephant from Elephant and Piggy. Gerald! We're so glad you're with us and you're going to follow along. We've already drawn Piggy. We drew her with Austin and that was a lot of fun. So be yes. sure to check that one out too. We'll leave a link below this video. Okay, we need paper and we need our markers, yes. right? And we're using two sheets of paper so that our marker doesn't go through to the table. Okay, let's draw Gerald's eye first. Okay. And we're going to draw just a little circle right in the middle of our paper. That's for his first eye. And then we're going to draw a second eye right next to it, but lower. And it's going to be the same size. Good job. Okay, now we can connect. Let's connect because he's wearing glasses. Yes. Connect between the eyes and then let's draw the inside of his eye, just a little dot on the left side of each circle. Good. Now let's draw his nose and we're going to just we're going to start right here in between his eyes and we're going to draw a big elephant nose that comes it's kind of an upside down L. Good. And then right below that we're going to draw the other side of his nose. <laughs> and then at the bottom, we're going to connect with a little curve from one side to the other. Good. Now let's draw his mouth. We're going to draw a little U shape. And we want it to be open, so we're going to draw another U right underneath it that's bigger. Good. Is that starting to look like Gerald? Yes. Then let's color in his mouth. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw his head. So we, his head is a circle and we're going to imagine it going through his nose. So we're going to start down here underneath his mouth and we're going to go right to where his nose bends. Then we're going to come up next to his eye. And then we're going to come out of the top of his eye, come around. And we're going to stop down here when we get close to being diagonal from his eye. Good, yeah, that looks awesome. Now let's draw his ear. We draw an S line. So it's gonna start this way and then curve back the other direction. Good, and then right next to it, we're gonna draw another curve, simple curve. Good, and then at the bottom of his, of his ear, we'll connect it. Awesome. Okay, this line right here, we need to make it come up a little closer and almost touch the other part of his ear. And then we can draw this line right here, his glasses, finish his glasses under his ear. Now, right here, we're going to imagine the back of his head coming under his ear and then popping out underneath. There we go. Now, he has one more ear on the other side of his head. He has two ears. Yes. It's a little curve. What are we missing? His eyebrows. Yes. We're going to draw a little curve above this eye and then another curve over the other eye. We did it, we finished Wait. his head. <laughs> you got one more. All right. Okay, let's draw his first arm. We're gonna draw a J shape, comes under, and then another line above for the top of his arm, and then connect the two. Good, and then we're gonna draw those little elephant toes, or fingers, three little bumps. All right, now we're gonna draw his back and we're gonna draw a curve that comes under, under his arm. And you wanna save a little room for his legs. Then we're gonna draw his belly and it's gonna start here. We're gonna leave a little gap in between his head and his belly. It's gonna come down, curve, and then we want it to come down and match down here at the bottom. Oh, I like it. He's got a good sized yes. belly. Yes. That's perfect. <laughs> Okay, let's finish his other arm, and we're going to draw it pointing up into the air. So I drew a little line that went behind. We imagine it going behind his, his nose. Now we're going to draw the other side of his arm. Good. And then we can connect the end with the line straight down. Now let's draw his toes. Three little bumps. Okay, now we're missing his legs. So right here in between these two lines, let's draw another curve, short one. And then right here, we're gonna draw a diamond shape. So 
So we're going to draw a bent line this way and then a bent line going the other way. And then we're going to draw the outside of his legs. So another bent line and one on this side. Then connect the bottoms with a curve. And if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video! Yeah! Okay, now let's draw his little toes like we did on his hands. Three bumps on this side and three bumps over here. What are we missing? His little tail! Yeah, his little tail sticking out on the side. <laughs> I really like his body, man. You drew him really wide. Yes. Maybe he just ate a pizza. A huge one. A big pizza. Yes. <laughs> okay, we need to color him. We're just going to use one color. We're going to use gray. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. We did it, man. Good job. That was some difficult coloring, wasn't yes, it? Yes, just one color and one color. it was so hard. It was so hard. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Gerald with us. And if you haven't yet seen the books, you got to check them out. Yes, they're, they're funny. They're way funny. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.